Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to As Above, So Below, a rune and tarot divination for Thursday, the seventh day of September, 2023. Well, um, I... I started this once. I'm just going to leave everything here. My, my, I don't know. I had to reboot the computer. If I don't do that periodically, it doesn't happen so much on a Mac. It happens more often on my Windows computer if I use that one. Uh, and this one doesn't seem to do that as much. But once in a while, I'll have to do that. And anyway, I had to this morning. But I don't see any point in uh, uh, redoing the reading, so I'll just I'll just start again with what I have. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I hope you're uh, having a good week. Um, we had an apple tree fall. We have trees. I don't know. If, this is the year for tree issues, you know, on our property. Either we're cutting some down up at the irrigation ditch, or we're or one's breaking off and taking out our old barn. And 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 oh, what a mess that is. It's going to take some time to clean all that up, but uh, uh, the bulk, the bulk of it is. Uh, but we still have to deal with the barn, and uh, that's that's going to be interesting. So I mean, we've been planning to take that thing down for some time and redo that area, and this is going to force us to do that, which is fine. Um, but then my husband comes in. I don't think it was it yesterday or day before. Um, he, he comes in the house. He says, you've got to come out here. I'm like, Oh no, what? And so, so I get out there. He says, yeah, one of the apple trees, it's like his pie apple tree. The only one we have, we've got a bunch of apple trees, like 30 some apple trees. But, uh, uh, actually there may be more now cause he planted more last summer. I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, he uh uh we get out there and it's it's literally just it's so heavy with fruit it just fell over and um the, i think the only way we're going to be able to stand it back up because it's not the roots aren't out of the ground none of it it just it just fell over and and i'm like okay and so we're going to pick the apples that are good and we're going to freeze them uh so we can have some apples uh, for for pies and and whatnot uh but he uh and then I guess he'll he'll trim it all off and then be able to stand it up. It's a really heavy tree right now. There's no way we can stand that thing up right right now. So not till we pick the apples and then and then prune everything and then we can probably try to save the tree. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Like I say, the roots are still in the ground, so they're not sticking up or anything. But it's just like what next, you know? <laughs> It's all tree stuff. It's weird. Uh, anyway, we'll start off the reading with Fehu. Uh, Fehu is the first rune of the Elder Futhark. Um, it's it's about cattle. It means cattle and wealth. But what it means is is wealth that is movable. And so if you can move it, you can barter with it. And and that's what happened. You know, back when runes were created, uh, that's likely what was going on at the time. Uh, the tribes were no longer stuck in one place. They could pick things up and move them to another location, maybe the summer location versus the winter location, for example. And they could move their wealth with them. Uh, they weren't just simply stuck in one place. And so they had the ability to do essentially both, live somewhere and then move somewhere else with their stuff. But they could also use it to uh, as currency. Uh, and so Fehu is essentially about... Uh, life force and, and growth and success, uh, abundance. Um, it's a fire element rune. Uh, it's the, it's the, it can be used in, in, in magical workings to cast your intention. It's the sending rune, so it has sending type of energy to it. Uh, and, 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 and so uh, initially then on a higher level here on the as above side, we could say, how are you transacting your, uh, uh, well, your experiences with other people where, where it's transactional in nature. Is it, is it one where you do that with honor and integrity and dignity, uh, and respect, or is there another aspect to that, a lower aspect to that that's happening? Are you doing it in a way that's manipulative or something like that? Um, that would be both sides of that. Um, does it really increase your wealth in an honorable way? Uh, but we'll see. Uh, then I drew uh, for the for the uh, for the below side of things with a geomancy rune. I came up with uh, 
uh, Fortuna Minor, which is interesting that, that I would I would pull that one uh, with Fehu because they both they both go together, you know. Only this time we're talking about uh, in terms of uh, rather than its complement, Fortuna Major, which would be the the greater success or greater fortune. Uh, you're looking at um, minor fortune or lesser fortune with. Uh, uh, um, Fortuna Minor, but how I interpret that is progressive success versus the windfall at the end. Uh, there's just a feeling of plodding along and being methodical and, and uh, taking care of, of all aspects. It's the, in other words, it's the process involved versus the outcome. You can look at it maybe that way. Uh, and so when you're when you're expressing fehu in your life and you're you're growing your wealth, you're 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 growing uh, uh, your abundance and all of that, and how you how you make that happen, how you transact that in the world, um, we're going to look at the minutia of that today instead of you know what is the big windfall at the end. Um, and so I drew three cards. Uh, one from wands, one from swords, and uh, one from pentacles. And the one from pentacles is a court card. It's the king of pentacles. We have the four of wands, the five of swords. Uh, and, and, and we get to um, the end here uh, with the king of pentacles, which I think really is the outcome of, of, the, of the, the experience of Fehu and Fortuna Minor. And so I'm thinking that, that uh, in order to get to that level of wealth and that security and that level of responsibility, the King of Pentacles is going to do that in a very measured way. And so uh, he's going to be focused not always on the Fortuna Major of it all, but the Fortuna Minor of it all and how he does that and how much integrity he does that with. Uh, uh, is he going to take from others? It it doesn't really look like this. The, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's a little bit more grounded than that. Um, he's somebody that uh, is 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 successful. He's he's uh, concerned with his legacy. He's steadfast. He's responsible. He's measured. He's practical, pragmatic. Uh, and so it seems to me that the way we we really uh, uh, it, it's it's about thinking about the cause and effect of things and how that's going to impact your family, how it's going to impact the people you do business with if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner. Um, or even if you work you know, in a place that, that has customers that come in all the time, how you're dealing with those people on behalf of the boss. How are you doing that? Uh, are you are you taking into account uh, uh, the integrity of the relationship? Um, or is it just simply about making money? And, and, and you don't really care how you do it. Uh, I think the King of Pentacles does care. And so we know what the outcome of this is going to be. Uh, the other two cards, though, the Four of Wands and the Five of, of Swords, tell a little bit different uh, uh, story here. Um, and uh, that maybe gives some ideas about, about how you want to do it versus how you don't want to do it. Uh, here you have the Four of, of, of Wands. You see, this is essentially a couple of people getting married. Uh, you see the castle in the background, and they've instead of standing here and watching the ceremony, they've already gotten married. You see this line of this, this dual line. I call it a dual line of demarcation. It separates the the main what happened with where they are now. Uh, sometimes you'll see them in in, in depending on the card. Uh, where you see this, uh, you'll see uh, the people doing whatever it is they're doing right here on this side of it. But here it's already happened. Um, and here you see two you see two poles on either side. Uh, you see garlands uh, going in an X pattern above. Uh, the idea of and, and 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 when I see that, I think the rune gebo, which is an X. Uh, and that's that's uh, the gift of reciprocity. It's marriage. It's partnership. It's balanced energy exchange with others. And you can see that here. Uh, you can sometimes I, I depending on on the reading, but I'll just tell you I kind of look at this as the the two uh, uh, masculine and 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 receptive presence within on either side has come into balance within each individual, and now they're coming together in in the final balance of their marriage. You can see the castle in the background. You can see the, the friends, the people that came to the wedding uh, are there. You see the uh, arched bridgeway there. Um, 
lots of opportunity here. You see the yellow sky, the yellow ground, lots of opportunity, very, very fiery type of experience here. So it's not just the coming together of a marriage, but all that can happen as a result of that, of that level of harmony, the positive growth, the positive uh, experiences that they can have uh, in their lives uh, together, coupled with the four, which is creating a new sense of foundation uh, and, 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 and integration with one another. You see the three, the three uh, bouquets that are held high. She only has one in her hand. He has two. Uh, but it's the idea of, of that type of triplicity of integration with one another. Uh, so they're finding a new structure for themselves with the four, a new foundation that they're now they're going to grow their new life together uh, and hopefully create some abundance with that. Um, but then we have some deception going on here. You see the, the sketchy clouds in the sky. They're kind of grayish against the blue sky there. They're, they're, they're dissipating a little bit because the battle is over. Uh, you've got three guys here. Again, you see the uh, dual line here. And it, this is an example where whatever's taking place is taking place on this side of, of the uh, line there. Back in the distance here, you see the water, which isn't exactly smooth. So there's an emotional component to this. You see in the background over here some land just kind of off in the distance over here. Uh, but you see one guy by the water's edge who's holding his head. He's, he's very upset. You see another one who is, is concerned about him. You can see that he seems to be, he, although his body's going kind of one way, he's taking a step toward the other guy. Like he's going to go and check him out and make sure he's okay. Their swords appear to be on the ground. Uh, you've got... Uh, uh, three more swords here that the one guy is picking up and he seems all too happy with himself doesn't he like he's t like he's pulled the wool over their eyes he's done something deceptive to win this argument basically swords is the air element whereas wands is the fire element and so here you're talking about new opportunities and creativity and the spark of life and the genesis of all of that here with air uh, that has more to do with communication and the intellect and anything associated with that, whether it's justice, truth, deception, fairness, balance, anything like that. Uh, but it's interaction, essentially. And so whatever went on here was an argument. And given the sketchy brown clouds or grayish clouds up at the up in the sky there, something deceptive happened. So five means change. It also means innovation. It can also mean freedom versus restriction. But something has changed here. And so there was a lack of integrity, a lack of, of dignity, a lack of, of honesty and honor uh, in, in this whole situation here. And so it's not going to be something that if this guy does increase his wealth and abundance by this experience here, he's done it at the expense of the relationship that he has. And so you've really got two different things, two different factors to consider here when you're trying to reach the level of the king. And here you see the king. He's, uh, I'm not a fan of kings, by the way. I, I've, I've said this before, if this is your first time here. Welcome, by the way. But but I, I've always said I don't really trust the kings. And the only one that I might trust is the king of pentacles. Uh, because he seems concerned about, you know, he's got one hand on a, on a coin here. He's got his scepter here. Uh, he's He's got, you see grapes all over the place. Uh, uh, that's generally indica indicative of, uh, uh, of abundance and wealth. Uh, you see, uh, it, it's sort of a Taurus type of a card because you see the, the, the steer's heads here, the bull's heads here. Uh, and if you know any, you, and then of course you see the castle in the background. And then what do we have over here? We have some, just some greenery and abundance. And there's a wall there. And it looks like the grapes are growing on the wall behind him. But you, the, the throne alone, just looking at it, it's tremendous strength of this, of this man. Strength of character, strength of resolve, uh, strength to, to do what's necessary for the kingdom. Uh, and and to share that abundance with them, that that's the purpose of it, is to keep the kingdom alive and well and prosperous. 
but there's a strength to that that throne that he sits on uh, that just seems really steadfast. You you look at the Knight of, of Pentacles, the same sort of thing. His horse is that black horse, and he's just very, very, it's like he's a workhorse. You know, he's very strong, very strength-oriented. Uh, and it takes that type of inner strength to be able to not, not transact your life in a way that is simply about you, but it includes your family as well. Uh, it's the difference between a parent that might stay out uh, all night at the bar or what have you, you know, and drink away the money that he makes and, 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 or she makes and, and then there's nothing to provide for the family when they get home, right? And they're struggling. The, fam the family is struggling. You don't see that here in this particular card. Uh, the abundance that he has here is reflected back here, uh, and, and it's used for that. Um, and uh, so I, I think that what this is really trying to say here is in order to get here, the process you take matters, right? Where there's true abundance, there's true fehu, there's true wealth uh, in your life. It, it's done from the standpoint of harmony, and understanding the integration that you have with other people and doing it in a way that's positive and, and uh, uplifting for all concerned, or you're doing it in a way that's deceptive. And I think you can see the difference between the two. I mean, obviously, you want this unless you want to take the easy way out and, 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 and mirror the five of, of swords here. But the consequences are great. I mean, particularly for these two guys, but mostly for him. He's extremely upset about what's happened. You know, whatever argument that's taken place, they know that this guy here has done something that is deceptive and is not something that, that uh, I mean, he's won. But, but what is he won? I mean, it might be, you know, something that, that benefits only him and nobody else, clearly. Uh, and and if you if you're going to transact your life that way, then at the end of the day, when you know because this implies you know some as some time has passed here for him to be in the position that he's in, uh, because he's an older man. It's not like uh like like some you know ten year old boy back in the day that might have been named king but really couldn't be king for a while. It was just sort of ceremonial at that point. But if, if it was a familial line and the and the king died or something or was killed in battle, then the 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 throne went to the child maybe. Uh, but here, the fact that he's an older man tells us that he's been in this position for a while and he's managed to build his wealth uh, and then use it in service to the kingdom. Uh, or, and if you don't want to think of it in terms of, of, of the kingdom itself, he's done this for his family. And, and it's not simply about him. Uh, Taurus uh, is, a, is a very, uh, my mother was a Taurus, very hardworking, very pragmatic uh wasn't somebody that was a, was spent her money all of the time uh she planned uh she was very her 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 attitude and this is how i was raised was pay your bills before you eat uh, so make sure you don't have so many bills that you can't uh and 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 i and to this day I, I feel that pull. I don't always, I mean, I do that, but it, you know what I'm saying? I, I tend not to want to, I, I want to make sure I've got what we need to survive before we go and do something else. Uh, if the money's not there, then the money's not there, basically. Uh, and you don't go and, and max out credit cards simply because you don't have any self-control over it all because I need it now. Well, it's one thing if it's something you actually do need and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like I need a new freezer. I'm getting, hopefully it's getting delivered today. Uh, we go pick it up today, but, uh, uh, haven't heard yet. Uh, but, uh, but basically I, I mean, I need that for all the food that we grow and freeze. And so my free, one of my freezers went out and now I had to get a different one. Uh, because there's no fixing that other one. So, so you make sure how you do things is, is in a way that preserves the stability and structure and, and all of that that you have in your life. And so in order to do that, you can't have your eye on the prize and forget about the details. And I guess that's what I think this reading is saying here today. That And how you conduct yourself within that. Do you take the easy way out by deceiving people or do you plan for your future in, in, in a way that's harmonious? 
harmonious and and uh, uh, in a way that's balanced and and uh, uh, integrative with somebody else. Um, in other words, that it's not just you. It's not only about you. It's now about somebody else and then maybe the children that you have uh, or not. But either way, you have someone else in your life that you're thinking about and your choices impact that individual. The choice that this guy made here it has really impacted these people, particularly this guy here. Uh, and, and when you do it by deceptive means, then it's almost like you're skipping over the measuredness found in uh, and the progressiveness found and the process found in, in, in Fortuna Minor. So I think to sum up here, um, this is about how you manage your wealth uh, and how you get there. Uh, and again, is it going to be something where you plan for your future and you do things in a measured, balanced, integrative, uh, reciprocal uh, type of way to where you're considering the other people that are involved in your life that depend on you? Uh, uh, or are you taking the easy way out and deceiving your way there and jumping over the process of uh, and thinking only about the goal and how you're going to get there. You're so focused on that that you don't pay attention to the process that you're using to get there, um, who you are within that, who and, and the type of integrity you have or don't have. Uh, and, and if you can make the right decision for yourself uh, and stay in that measured type of a way with Fortuna Minor, then I think that you come out on the other end of it in a way that's successful and, and, and you have abundance in your life that's there, that's stable, that's not fleeting and not, you know, living from moment to moment. And uh, instead, you know, planning for the future in a way that, that respects the, the, the agreement you've made with someone else uh, to come together in harmony and love and unity and then build your life from that point. So that's kind of an interesting way to end the readings this week on Thursday. Um, again, I think that sometimes we get ahead of ourselves and we don't think about the details. We don't think about, we don't plan very well. We just want what we want. And it's like, oh, I, I've got to go do that. And we don't stop to think about the impact that might have on others uh, in the process. And uh, if that's the case, then you might want to uh, reconsider how you approach off all of that and uh, to truly come, come out with uh, some level of uh, of, of wealth and, and financial security that that is stable and uh, that you've prepared for you've prepared for the worst you've you've if you can you know we can not everybody can do that these days uh, uh, but you know if you can uh, and your life is such that that you can you can take that type of a measured approach uh, then by all means do that and even if you're having difficulty uh, paying attention to the details of it all uh, figuring out a way around different things uh, uh, to to uh, to increase your your wealth and your and your financial security is always a good thing to do. Uh, I saw somebody say something about uh, uh, if you have if, if you're young and you have a low paying job, uh, for example, uh, and you work you know five days a week, consider taking a part time one for just a few hours a week and then socking that money away. Uh, and, and don't spend it. Just put that money, that little, you know, maybe you work, you know, f an additional four hours a week at something. Uh, just take that money and put it in the bank and grow that. And, <clears throat> and if you can't, because if you can't do it any other way, if you're living from paycheck to paycheck, it's hard to do that. You don't have disposable income to, to, to work with. But if you, if you could put a few extra hours in, take an, you know, an evening job or something a couple nights a week, uh, take that money <clears throat> and put it directly into a bank account and let that be your savings account. It may be the only way you can do that. And when you're young, you know, you have the energy to do all of that. <clears throat> so, you know, especially if you want to have children or, or what have you, that's extremely expensive to have kids now. And, uh, and so maybe you need to have something like that to put that extra time in to plan for the future. Uh, and it just seems to me that the Four of Wands gives you uh, that energy and that opportunity to do that uh, in a way that's harmonious and balanced. Um, whereas the Five, 
of swords, on the other hand, just seems to be taking the easy way out and deceiving people and living moment to moment and not really paying attention to the process or the details. It's just, I want this now and I'm going to take it and I don't care how I do that. I don't think that that's going to make you arrive here, though. So anyhow, that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll probably be dealing with our apples on that tree that fell over. I can't believe it. It's like we got all that other stuff cleaned up. And now this other walkway area is, is covered by a tree. So I don't know. And lots and lots of apples. They're either Granny Smith or they're Gravenstein. I'm not sure which they are. I think they, but I think they're Granny Smith apples. My husband used to take, we'd buy apples, different ones, <coughs> at the store, and he'd save the seeds, and then he planted them, and and he, and that's what we have. It took a long time, but I think I don't know how long it took—15, 20 years—for them to really start producing apples, but they do, and <laughs> so. Now we have to go out and pick them up off the ground and compost them because we can't eat all of them, obviously. And uh, we don't spray the trees. And so you know, there's coddling moths and things like that. So so you have to be careful which ones you pick, right? Uh, but uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a big, it, it becomes a, a big deal, a big ordeal to have to pick up all the apples all the time. But, you know, what else are we going to do, I guess? I don't but now we've got to deal with that tree and we've got to still finish dealing with the other tree that fell and, and oh my goodness. It's just been one of those summers, I guess, for us. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. I hope you will and come back again on Monday for another edition of As Above, So Below. Be good to yourself, be good to one another and blessed be.